The mighty dinosaurs ruled our Earth for 170 million years. Although the era of primeval giants is long over, new fossil discoveries keep giving us spectacular insights into the age of the giant lizards. Today, we'd like to open the door to days long past with you and take a close look at some unique dinosaur discoveries from the recent past. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Have you always wondered what the brood care of prehistoric lizards looked like? Or which colossus rivaled Edward Scissorhands? Then stick around until the end of the video to find out. The Dinosaur Mummy it's 2011, when miner Sean Funk, as is so often the case, goes about his usual daily work in Alberta, Canada, as Sean was busy drilling for crude oil sands with one of his large machines, an unusual detail caught his eye. He had just uncovered what looked like an oversized rib. At the time, however, the Canadian had no idea that he had come across the remains of a 110 million year old creature. In fact, it was to take another six years and a lot of painstaking detailed work before the experts were finally able to restore the primeval colossus to its former glory. Amazingly, many parts of the fossilized dinosaur body have managed to withstand the gnawing ravages of time. From skin to shell to snout, this spectacular find gives us a vivid glimpse of the days when our Earth was ruled by full-grown giants. We can also see that Sean found one of the best-preserved dinosaur fossils of all time when we realized that even the contents of the animal's stomach had been preserved. In detail, we're dealing here with a 5.4 meter long and 1.1 ton notosaurus, whereby the massive body of the herbivore is covered with armored plates and spikes of different sizes. The question of what ultimately led to the perfect preservation of the dinosaur mummy can no longer be answered with absolute certainty. The giant lizard may have died in a river after which its body was washed into the sea. Preserved by the minerals of the ocean, the fossil eventually resurfaced millions of years later, long after the ocean had retreated. Migration of the Long Necks what did the giants of primeval times have in common with today's buffaloes? That's right, they roamed the countryside in large herds. Scientists came to this conclusion when they analyzed some pink stones in the American Midwest. What at first glance looked like ordinary stones was actually swallowed by the herbivorous dinosaurs to grind up the food in their stomachs. According to this, the natural digestive aids made it possible to reconstruct the distances covered and the number of huge long necks. But what were the factors behind the forays of the herds of dinosaurs? In this regard, the researchers suspect that the giant lizards are closely oriented towards the rainy seasons. If the plants were too soft from the falling water masses, it was necessary to move on and find new sources of food. Cooper Anyone who found themselves in what is now Australia some 95 million years ago could witness a terrifying sight. In detail, this site was nicknamed Cooper and was a gigantic herbivore, measuring 30 meters in length and 6 meters in height. After the bones of Australia's largest known dinosaur were discovered around 15 years ago, researchers set about reconstructing Cooper's original dimensions. However, when the sauropod caused the landscape to tremble under the weight of its footsteps, Down Under still belonged to the supercontinent Gondwana. Now the experts are hoping that the discovery of Australiotitan cooperensis, as the species is scientifically called, will lead to the detection of other giants. True to the motto, where there are gigantic herbivores, huge predatory dinosaurs can't be far, the experts yearn to one day track down Cooper's carnivorous counterpart. Mipe Macrothorax 
If a dino is already named after an evil spirit from the Tuelche mythology, the conclusion is that the so-called shadow of death really wasn't a good place to eat cherries. Discovered in Argentina, the reconstruction of the skeletal fragments left no doubt that the super predator was at the top of the food chain about 70 million years ago. With a height of 3 meters and a length of 9 meters, Mype macrothorax should have weighed a good good five tons. Nesting Dinosaurs What did dinosaurs do after they laid their eggs? Did they take care of the nest themselves, or did they leave their brood to the natural course of events? A spectacular fossil find from China is now helping us to unravel the mystery of the dinosaur nursery. In fact, the researchers came across the 70 million year old remains of a breeding dinosaur here. Bone analysis showed that the prehistoric lizard was a predatory dinosaur from the group Oviraptosaurs. Although the fossilized hunter no longer has a skull, the rest of his body was hunched over the nest. The examination of the total of 24 eggs then revealed another unusual detail. The embryos were in different stages of development. This circumstance suggests that the baby dinosaurs hatched at different times. The Naval Question in the case of mammals, fetuses are supplied with nutrients in the womb via an umbilical cord, and when this connection between mother and offspring is severed, a navel is left behind. Since birds and reptiles are known to lay eggs, we don't find a classical umbilical cord here. Instead, the embryo inside the egg is connected to a yolk sac and other membranes. However, even in this case, a small scar remains on the abdomen where the young life struggles out of the egg and detaches from the membranes. Scientists recently proved beyond a doubt that dinosaurs also had such a navel. Accordingly, the characteristic scar could be identified in a Psittacosaurus fossil from China. We owe this in turn to the use of a novel imaging technique. With this so-called laser-stimulated fluorescence, researchers are able to uncover details in fossils without destroying other areas. The regular and smooth texture of the scar indicated that it was not the result of injury. Prehistoric Dwarf there's no question that the gigantic giant lizards, which weighed several tons, could scare you. In the case of the dinosaur discovered in a quarry in Wales, however, these fears were unfounded. After all, this colossus was not much bigger than a chicken. Including the tail, Pendreg milneri was only a meter long. However, analysis of the approximately 215 million year old bones left no doubt that the mini dino fed on meat. In this regard, we should keep in mind that the little lizard lived at the beginning of the evolution of the carnivorous dinosaurs. In contrast to T. rex and company, the original carnivores were much more compact. Carnivores from the Sahara even if the fossil found a few months ago in the hot desert sands of the Sahara has not yet been named, the predatory dinosaur is already classified as an Abelisauridae. The approximately 98 million year old remains were discovered in detail in the so called Baharia Formation, and indeed, this place must have been one of the most frightening on the planet during the Middle Cretaceous period. Back then, countless giant carnivores lived here side by side. The background to this predatory coexistence has not been finally clarified. The food supply probably did not become scarce because the predatory dinosaurs hunted different prey. The newly discovered specimen was 20 feet in length, with a squat face vaguely resembling that of a bulldog with many small teeth. New Details About Meteor Impact It's widely believed that it was a massive meteor impact that ended the reign of the dinosaurs. However, this does not blame the immediate consequences of the impact, but rather the longer-term effects that this event caused. 
The dust kicked up into the atmosphere drastically darkened our planet and ensured that solar radiation was reduced by up to 20% for several years, with catastrophic consequences for flora and fauna. The place where the galactic missile landed 66 million years ago is known as the Chicxulub Crater. The gigantic impact site on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, which has a diameter of 180 kilometers but is now buried under thick sedimentary rock, still bears witness to the elemental force of this event. A team from the Smithsonian Tropical Institute recently examined more than 50,000 fossilized plant relics in order to understand in detail what changes the Earth's flora underwent after the impact. Their findings claim that after the impact of the meteorite, which had a diameter of 10 kilometers, the plant diversity was reduced by at least 45 percent. Even more surprising, in the days of the dinosaurs, unlike today, the trees were very far apart. While today's rainforests are densely crammed assemblages of plants, primeval forests had expansive, sunlit open spaces between the trees. Shrinking Giants there's no question that dinosaurs fascinate us with their massive appearances. While most primeval lizards actually grew larger during the Cretaceous period, another branch of giants would continue to shrink, the Alvarez sauridae. While this line of dinosaurs had previously reached the body size of ostriches and weighed around 40 kilograms, the Alvarez sauridae began to shrink dramatically around 95 million years ago. At the end of this puzzling development, Development, there were small dinosaurs that weighed just 5 kilos. But what could have led to this reduction? New findings from experts indicate that the miniaturization of the dinosaurs was closely intertwined with their changed diet. Starting out as unchoosy predators, Alvarez sauridae eventually began to become specialized termite and anteaters over time. A reduced body size could therefore have helped the prehistoric animals to make effective use of the emergence of completely new insect species. In fact, not only did the stature change, but also the physical form of the Alvarez sauridae. Previously, they had powerful clawed arms, but later their limbs became short and had only a single spike, ideal for punching a hole in a termite mound. Bloody Surprise Attack a case that took place around 76 million years ago in what is now Canada shows what fatal consequences life could have in the era of the dinosaurs. Using recently discovered fossils, experts were able to reconstruct this bloody dinosaur massacre. It all started with a large herd of Centrosaurus fleeing the onset of the monsoon rains, moving further and further inland. These horned herbivores reached a length of 6 meters and weighed around 2.7 tons. What the Colossi didn't know at the time is that they were on the straight path to their own doom. Indeed, fate decreed that the group of centrosaurs should cross the path of some despletosaurs. The mighty carnivores from the Tyrannosaur family spread fear and terror with their monstrous shape alone, a body length of 9 meters and an estimated weight of up to 3.8 tons gave the Despletosaurus the undisputed top spot in the food chain. Immediately, the predators began to pounce on their surprised prey. Many of the panicked Centrosaurus took refuge in a nearby river, where they either drowned or were killed by equally hungry water predators. The Scissor Dino Where Edward Scissorhands meets the creatures of prehistoric times is, at the end, the unique fossil discovery that made the headlines earlier this year. Discovered in the Spanish province of Catalonia, Portosaurus sosbenati possessed five razor-sharp claws resembling a natural Swiss army knife. It's likely that these endogenous weapons, in combination with its outstanding sense of smell, would have made the dinosaur an excellent hunter, although it ate a vegetable diet. Therefore, it's more likely that the 3-meter-high, 8-meter-long, and 4-ton dino used his scissor hands to fend off enemies and to cut plants and fruits. 
pregnant ichthyosaur. When researchers recently came across the fossil of an ichthyosaur in Chile, the sensation was perfect. The remains were not only completely preserved, the female was also still pregnant. Named Fiona, the expectant Dino mother reached a length of around 4 meters. Like the other 23 fossils found near the Tyndall Glacier, Fiona lived between 129 and 139 million years ago. We have a sad development to thank for the fact that the dinosaur, together with the remains of some fetuses, came back to light. Accordingly, the ancient fossils only revealed themselves because the glacial ice is melting as a result of climate change. Which discovery did you find most exciting and what fascinates you most about dinosaurs? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Finally, please take a look at the other videos of our channel which we've linked for you here in the credits. And with that, thanks for watching, take care and see you next time.